What's up with that? It's your boy McFly, man, the hardest working man in shoe tame it today. Coming at you again with another collection video, man. We out here. Today we are doing the Jordan Retro Alums. Not Elevens, Alums on that thing. Been waiting to do this for a while. If it's your first time over here in Atlanta, McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. All that good stuff, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe, hit the bell, hit all that, anything down there need to be hit, just hit it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hit all that stuff. And we're gonna go ahead, man, and get into it. Um, Yeah, y'all ready? Show you some shoes, man. Let roll. All right, man. So it's that time to get into it, show you off these 11s. Everybody that knows me knows, 11s are my favorite silhouette. There is no better Jordan in my opinion. So, um, if this is your first time watching one of my collection videos, we start from what I feel is the least heat to the most heat. I mean, it's all heat because I bought it, but you know, it's, it's levels to heat. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Coming in first, we have the Cool Gray 11 Lows Missing a Shoestring. <laughs> and the shoestring is in a, another pair of shoes, which I will show you later. But uh, I didn't bother to put the string back in it, but I need to. Cool Grays, always a staple. Uh, if it's low, high, whatever, OG colorways in the 11, I'm most likely going to buy it. 11 lows get a bad rap, man. And I don't really know why. Comment down below if you like 11 lows, man. If you feel 11 lows, you don't rock with them, you hate 11 lows, you can even let me know why. I'm interested to know why people do not like Jordan 11 lows. But, first shoe shown. Cool gray, 11 lows. Coming in after the cool gray lows, boom, we have the blue snakeskin lows. Another flame pair of shoes, man, that people really slept on. Like, super slept on this. Um, I've got a review up on it. If you want to go check it out, um, feel free to do so. It's there waiting on you. You want a real unbiased opinion? Bad out. I'm there to give it to you. Coming in after the blue snakeskin lows, we have the boom UNC lows. Tar Heel Nation, shout out to all my UNC fans, all that. North Carolina, everybody knows, born and bred in North Carolina, if you didn't know that, from Charlotte, all that good stuff. I rock with UNC, no other college team except a &T. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> UNC lows, bam, bam. Coming in after that, we got an oldie but goodie, boom. The Jordan 11 IE Cobalt. Another shoe that people really sleep on. The 11 IE, man. Love the IEs. Like this shoe, comfort, crazy. Ventilation, crazy. Look, crazy. If I could get those um, blue and yellow joints from back in the day, I'd be set. Maybe the breads from back in the day, I'd be set. But it's kind of hard to find a pair of um, IEs, man. Modern day for a decent price. I also plan to get them uh, Space Jam IEs, but I need them for the super low. Like the low, 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 low. <laughs> like the dumb low. But yeah, Cobalt on deck. Go get you a pair. Treat your feet. After the Cobalt, Bruce, we got the light bone uh, snake skin joints. Had to cop these, man. Cop these for full retail, no discounts. Day one, absolutely was going crazy for this joint. You want to see my review on it? Feel free to check it out. It's up on the channel. The majority of the shoes on the show I got reviews on. Some of them I don't, but we'll get them out eventually. <laughs> Light bone, 11 lows. Get you some 11 lows, man. Stop playing. Get you some 11 lows. After the light bones, we got the Jeetahs. The Jeetah 11 lows on deck. The all suede, man. I wish these were the highs. I swear I do, but this is what they gave us, so this is what I caught. Everybody can't get them peas and, and all that. 
<laughs> so went ahead and grabbed them. People slept on these too, man, but they won. I don't think I have a review up on these though, but it's coming. Whenever I get around to wearing them, I'll probably do a review that day. My cool gray lace, there it is. <laughs> there it is right there in the Jeters, man. Which lace y'all like better, the white lace or the blue lace? Let me know in the comments, man. Jeters. After the Jeters, we got the Midnight Navy 11s, the Wind Like 82s, whatever you want to call them. This is what we got right here. And I'm highly upset, man. I took these out of the box just now, and um, they got some type of brown stuff on them. They just been in the box. I don't even know what that is. I ain't been around no dirt. And the last time I wore them, I was um, dropping off a of, uh, Funko to go Weezy, man. Shout out to Goat. I was dropping off a of Funko to him. That was like months ago. And I took them out the box just now, and it's got this brown crap all over it. Anybody know what that is? I don't be around no dirt or none of that, but it's on the laces like it's spreading or something. I gotta see if I can clean that off, man. Y'all let me know. Other shoe crispy, though. You know what I mean? Hey, hey. Another Tar Heel shoe. Loving the colorway. Had to grab it all day. Went like 82. After the win like 82s, Oosh. we got the Legend Blues on deck. Legend Blue, Lem, there it is. They actually B graded these and some of them made it to the outlet. How about that? There they go, lovely shoe. It's a whole lot of white and I try to stay away from shoes. It's a whole lot of white, but that one got a pass right there. Had to have it. I already know. After them, we've got another Jordan 11 Low IE. These are the uh, Black Croc joints. Don't have a review up on these, but this shoe is crazy. That Croc print, that gum bottom, that good leather, that ventilation, all that. I definitely need to review these like in a hurry, but boom, there it is. Jordan 11 I E them black croc thing. <laughs> I also got a ton of pairs of um Jordan Futures, man. So if you want to see that Jordan Future video, I had to do that in a separate collection because that would have been like probably 30 shoes that we'd be out here showing. So uh that video's up too, man. If you want to go check that out, it's on the channel. Ah! Next up we got the Concord things, the last year release. Had a whole bunch of these. Got a couple videos up on them. Actually had an early review on these, uh, thanks to the homie uh, J versus Juice, man. He hooked me up with the early on that. Be sure to go check his channel out for sure. Still factory lace. Have not worn them yet. I don't know what I'm waiting on. Um, I might actually wear these to go pick up breads this year. That's what I'm thinking. Then I'll put them in rotation. <laughs> Then I'll put them in rotation after that, but still factory lace, man. I ain't done nothing with them. It's all good, though. Kind of codes. Coming in after them, we've got oh, them Space Jam Fight. Y'all hear them vocals, boy. American Idol coming to town. I'm auditioning. Space Jams, man. I wasn't able to get um, the low cut pass release or the OG release. So this is actually my first pair of Space Jams. Um, extremely happy to have it. Worn it, I don't know how many times, man. Love this shoe. Like, a jam? It's hard to beat a jam, man. Damn. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, what else do I need to say? So give me a pair with 23 on the back instead of 45. That's really about it. What's your favorite 11s, man? Let me know in the comments below. How do you rank 11s as far as colorways and all that? All my sneakerheads should be able to do that with no pride blames. But yeah, y'all see it right there. Space Jam. Coming in after the Concodes, uh, we got the Pantone things. Do I really need to explain this? 
Is there anything that needs to be said about this Pantone? Let me know in the comments so we can talk about it, but incredible shoe. Tar Heel Nation. What else do I need to say? I ain't think so. Coming in after the Pantones, we got probably one of the best constructed 11s that I've seen in ever. Uh, the 70 to 10 11. I can't believe at one point in my life I didn't even want this shoe. I wasn't even gonna try to get it. And ended up getting it. 72 10, man. If you're gonna buy any 11, get get this one. <laughs> get, get the 72 10, man. You need it. Shoes dope. Crazy. Insane. It's a tank, it's all black. The only problem is that bottom is gonna yellow over time, but I've had these since the release and I got no yellowing. I've worn them several times. So as long as you take care of your shoes, man, you'll be Gucci. But uh, the quality, construction, craftsmanship, everything on this shoe, the attention to detail, even from the little speckle in the patent leather, is just crazy. I highly recommend the 7210. If you can find a pair new or used for a reasonable price, get it. Don't even think twice about it. Buy it. And lastly, to conclude the show, I don't even think I really need to show this shoe because if you come around and you watch my channel enough, you already know what it is. But the grail of all grails. My end all or be all. If I had to sell all my shoes and keep one. It's gonna be these, man. The Bread 11's slated for December of this year. Cannot wait. Going to try to get as many pairs as I can possibly get. Um, I automatically have to get three. Yes, three. Gotta get three off gate. I don't have to explain why I gotta get three, but gotta get three off gate. So, there it is, man. Another collection video in the books for y'all. Did I have some heat, man? Do I not have some heat? Is my collection trash? Let me know in the comments below, man. We can talk about it. You know, however you feel, that's how you feel. I ain't going to hate you for it. Because I know I got some heat. <laughs> Speaking of heat, who has the heat? Season 3 is on the way. Real, real soon, man. Y'all keep your eyes open. Me, E-Money, 313, PM Kicks. About to come at ya. Y'all ready for that? Y'all ready? I ain't even ready, but it's going down whether I'm ready or not. But at any rate, that's my 11th. Next month, you know, we'll be back with another one. So until next time, it's your boy McFly. I'll holler at you.